Hi, and welcome to another weekly Wednesday Kickstarter roundup from Rule of Carnage, bringing together all the best Kickstarter has for the tabletop miniatures gamer. And it's been a really busy week this week. Uh, we've got a couple of games, accessories, models, STLs, really the whole range. We're going to launch straight in with the first of those game projects, and it is Torch and Shield by Grimskald Games. So if you've been watching the channel, you'll have seen that we've got a, a couple of playthroughs and a review up for Torch and Shield. Um, so it's made by uh, a member of our Discord channel, um, and they sent us through a free copy um, to sort of preview it ahead of the Kickstarter. And we really love it. Uh, Mike and myself have played a few games of it. I've been sort of playing about, around with it in solo. It's a really, really solid game. Um, enjoyable, smooth to play through, and with sort of loads of really clever mechanics in there. I go into more depth in the review. Um, this Kickstarter is for the rules, um, along with some minis. Again, you can see those in some of our other videos, um, along with all the bits and pieces really need to play the game. So it's a dwarf dungeon delving game. Uh, grid based and you go in it has a card and dice based uh, set of mechanics and it's really cool it's got uh, a nice solo mode it's got a really solid sort of campaign system loads of scenarios if you enjoy any kind of dungeon delving I would say um, the thing that it puts me in mind of quite often is core space but obviously a sort of fantasy dwarven dungeon based version um, it gets loads of extra use out of any sort of uh, grid based dungeon maps you might have lying around uh, we play it on a hero quest board but you could use all sorts of bits and pieces torch uh, for torch and shield silver tower whatever you have available um yeah it's really engaging it's loads of fun it, it's great to sort of get a narrative game that has some nice crunchy decisions in it really strongly recommend torch and shield if you haven't already backed and you're watching the channel i strongly suggest stopping by picking up a copy really solid rules set a really great fun to play strong recommend on this one definitely check it out second up for our game projects this week uh, we've got moonstone fantasy skirmish game shades of moonreach by goblin king games so if you aren't aware of moonstone already uh, and i imagine a lot of people watching the channel will be it's a narrative skirmish game with a sort of um, I think it's got a really sort of strong Jim Henson feel to the aesthetics. Loads of just really fun, cool minis. Um, a great system uh, for sort of narrative play, but with a strong sort of competitive edge to it. Really nice system, well worth checking out. Um, the rules are available for the main game to download for free from web their website. Um, well worth checking out the rules. Um, and if you're interested, obviously, this is a great way to get into the game. Um, so this Kickstarter is for a new set of factions, the, the Moonreach factions, slightly sort of uh, darker, Grimm's fairy tale sort of feeling monsters and creatures with a really lovely gribbly sort of aesthetic to them. Uh, the campaign has two player starter set um, sort of level to it, which comes with everything that you need to play the game if you're not already a fan of uh, Moonstone. So it's a great opportunity to get in, pick up a set of new forces, everything you need to play on the pledge level. Obviously, if you're already a fan of Moonstone, there's no reason you wouldn't be. Uh, you can just pick up these new factions, the new minis. As always, uh, from me, so the, the minis are so characterful. You know, I think it's one of those games where people see the minis and absolutely have to play the system, sort of whatever it's going to be. But the system itself is extremely strong low great fun uh it's been tested uh it's been running for a while now so you know it's going to be super smooth uh sort of fully checked through well worth checking out if you're not already a fan of moonstone this is a great chance to get into it and if you are already uh, a supporter or player of the game this is a, a great new faction to pick up uh, and expand your game okay that is it for game projects we've got an accessories campaign this week and our accessories campaign for this week is Warganizer Project Leviathan by 35 Design. So we occasionally see uh, organizer and transportation systems for minis on Kickstarter. Um, obviously, if you're a regular club player, if you go to people's homes to play, you want something that can transport your minis around. I know lots of us end up using toolboxes or shoe boxes with 
tissue paper and it's it's never quite ideal and you're always going to need to sort of bring along a, a tube of super glue or something for little fixes um this campaign is for a 3d printable um set of sdls in order to construct a modular minis carry case which is obviously you know a really lovely idea if you do have a 3d printer now it's for fdm printers um it's apparently not suitable for resin printers you need to sort of uh the the larger printer size really for it um um, but it's a really great idea because obviously if you're buying pre-built uh, minis cases, you're always constrained by, OK, exactly which minis do I need to um, carry in this? What sort of shells, what sort of layouts are going to need going to be suitable for me? If you've got a sort of specific modular case, I find I always end up sort of not having enough inserts. And then whenever you're buying a new set of minis, the inserts going to work and you need some new ones. So an STL printable carry case allows you to always have exactly the right modular pieces, um, create a new set of shelves every time you've got a new minis project available. Uh, and it lets you just sort of print up as many cases as you need. You can store your minis within them sort of long term. If you've got the space, it's going to be a great way to organize your minis and then a great way to personalize every case so that it's when it's time to pick up a particular force you can just grab the case right off the shelf you don't even need to look inside it because you've personalized them all out so you're always going to know which ones you need so a really solid solution if you've got an fdm printer um, and you're looking for the chance to store your minis in a solid and modular fashion for moving to play date play date okay uh, next up, we've got a few models campaigns this week. First up of our physical model reward campaigns, we've got the Throne of Dwarves, hand sculpted miniatures and terrain by Skibor Monstrous Miniatures. So this is a campaign for really a single squad of hand sculpted dwarves. Um, I would say particularly um, each one of these dwarves could happily be a, a hero or a leader in their own right. So if you're picking up uh, the collection, it's about eight dwarves on the base level. So depending on add-ons and stretch goals, that, that could increase up. Um, if you're looking at that base level, I think you've got a, a solid um, warband, sort of small-scale narrative group uh, for playing through scenarios, campaigns, stories where you want every one of the dwarves to be a character in their own right. And, and have their own story and, and their own evolution but if you have a larger force um, every one of these guys are going to work I think brilliantly as a unit champion a leader of a force anything of that nature so if you're already a dwarf gamer and you want to have some extra minis to dot around a larger force these guys are great beautifully sculpted loads of character loads of features um if you're you know maybe not got large dwarven force but you're looking for something for uh, a smaller narrative sort of skirmish level game something around the sort of frostgrave level these guys are going to make a great sort of solid adventuring force all in their own that are going to sort of be able to hold a lot of character a lot of story advancement all those sorts of things these are guys that you want to name and have characters and sort of backstory for them the campaign also has a few bits of terrain uh, a sort of dwarven throne and some rocks and bits and pieces but i think it's definitely the minis the the focus of it and i think they're super cool if you're a dwarf collector you're looking to get a small uh, war band for for a narrative system there's a great campaign to stop by and check out Okay, next up for our physical model rewards, we've got Fantasy Tabletop Giant Ogre Miniatures by Miniature Men. So this is a campaign for um, 21 uh, hand-sculpted ogre miniatures uh, in resin. Um, so these ogres, I think, have a very sort of old-school, old hammer look to them. Uh, they've got the sort of... Um, lumpy chunky feel to them that I think sort of really fits in for ogres um, and certainly if you are a, an old hammer style player you enjoy that sort of more old school hand sculpted um, chunky lumpy sort of look to your ogres these are going to be absolutely brilliant loads of character to them um, I think you can really sort of you have that strong feel of being hand sculpted rather than you know SDL sort of done on a computer. As always with hand sculpted miniatures there's 
you know it's a great sort of advantage i think to painting because i sort of and say if it's been hand sculpted somebody's been able to get in there with a sculpting tool so you're going to be able to get in there with a paintbrush um if you are looking for a solid chunk of ogres uh, with an old school look an old school feel to them and i think this is a great campaign from a small independent creator well worth getting and supporting um so certainly if you're looking for a unit of ogres there's plenty there for a large um mass battle style force if you're looking for just a few to dot into the odd war group or a skirmishing band or a skirmishing level game then there's plenty to choose from in this campaign well worth checking out if you're into the old school look and you want some sort of lumpy old school looking ogres okay uh last up for our physical reward campaigns we've got monster scenery container shipyard by monster fight club if you watch your channel regularly you know that i'm a big fan of contemporary uh sort of set pieces i don't think we have enough contemporary um opportunities within the the minis gaming sort of hobby um and one of the things about you know uh, an under supported area is it's sometimes hard to get things like terrain well you are strongly covered by this campaign if you're in the market for a container shipyard um so on the highest level of this campaign there is a massive uh, table available um i think it's a six foot by eight foot table that this will cover on the highest level now obviously physical rewards for a six foot by eight foot table that's a pretty high pledge level at the highest level but there's loads of pledge levels available you can grade this all the way down to uh you know a, a simple set of containers a ship the bits and pieces you need for a, a much more modest tabletop so there's loads of options in here um there's a lovely level to sort of build your own personalized ship and containers really you know you can get this exactly the way you want it physical reward campaign obviously for something like this is quite unusual um so if you're feeling left out by all the opportunities that stl printing uh, are giving some people this is a great chance to get in get a table filling amount of contemporary style terrain um whatever size table that you you've got i did i think that nobody isn't going to have an opportunity to fill a tabletop on this campaign um obviously you know container yards have a lot of modularity availability to them you don't have to put the containers into a shipyard these would absolutely work on all sorts of tabletops so yeah i say for contemporary this would work brilliantly for post-apocalyptic you could see a load of container yard containers in a sort of wasteland you could absolutely sort of put these ships not necessarily in a shipyard but you know you'd have a very strong post-apocalyptic feel if one of them was in the middle of a, a desert or a wasteland there's a narrative built in there there's loads of opportunities for these guys they can work in all sorts of contemporary settings near future settings these would work brilliantly for things like uh marvel based games um yeah there's loads of opportunities here well worth stopping and checking out this isn't the sort of campaign that comes up um a lot because of the physical nature of it because of the contemporary nature of it well worth stopping and checking out if you're in any way interested in contemporary or contemporary adjacent gaming well worth getting in and picking up a tabletop full of stuff here okay moving on from our physical reward com campaigns on to the stl rewards first up we've got rum and raising by ian lovecraft so if you are uh, familiar with repeat and regular um, SDL creators, you might have heard Ian Lovecraft's name. He's a very prolific um, and top-notch SDL uh, sculptor. Um, he's got plenty of campaigns on Kickstarter and outside of Kickstarter for that matter. So super reliable, very high-end sculpting. This is really a sort of uh, premium-end uh, sculptor and creator this particular campaign is for uh, a couple of sets i would say you can obviously mix and match them but there's a couple of distinct sets of uh pirates pirate style characters um there's a sort of a female group and a male group as i say obviously you could mix and match them they they would totally work together but there's a nice little neat divide there so if you're playing anything certainly miniatures agnostic pirate skirmish games 
obviously these would be absolutely fantastic for um but these guys would work in in all sorts of settings they're pirates they could turn up in really any sort of world whether it be uh fantasy or historic um that's sort of roughly historically appropriate um the sculpts are extremely you know high-end they're well thought through for gaming for painting they have a, a solidity to th to them they're going to work just right at 32 mil one thing if you are a a, a 3d printer a, a, an SEO collector you'll know that sometimes you get problems with scaling where something's been sculpted possibly for 54 72 mil and you shrink them down and things just aren't going to work you get snaps breaks all sorts of things like that these guys are perfect for 28 32 mil gaming um perfect for sort of pirate theme situations obviously if you're playing something with an actual pirate theme pick them up immediately they're just as high end as you can get or if you just want something with a, a pirate theme or a pirate feel in a more miniature agnostic game, strongly recommend stopping by and picking this one up. One of the highest end creators there are out there with a lovely set of sculpts. Okay, next up for our STL file campaigns, we've got Scary Paranormal House by Illustralia. So I think we're really spoiled for STL file campaigns this week. Uh, sometimes that way you get a bit of quietness and then just premium campaign after premium campaign uh in australia is a creator that i feature repeatedly on the channel because they do the best um sort of uh terrain they have a theming for sort of um horror movies they've gone through several uh famous buildings so they've got a, a bates motel campaign that they've had in the past um the the house from stranger things this house is uh and the theming for it is strongly uh poltergeist related so it's basically the house from poltergeist and uh there are some minis referencing moments in the film or characters in the film so if you are interested in horror gaming, um, anything sort of pulp related, this is a fantastic campaign, an amazing creator, and I strongly recommend following them and giving them back. If you're not necessarily inherently looking for horror gaming, again, as I said previously, contemporary um, buildings, structures, uh, miniatures are just way too rare, I think, um, in the hobby generally um the house itself is brilliant for any kind of contemporary gaming um it's not sort of an ostentatiously horror based building it's it's a small sort of suburban house so it work absolutely brilliant for post apocalyptic gaming uh you know close post apocalyptic if you're interested in things like you know a, a zombie apocalypse uh, a walking dead where things have only just gone wrong you know you're going to have normal houses like this a brilliant play around if you're looking for coin gaming where you've got sort of you know a modern conflict in a in a normal sort of suburban setting it's a brilliant house for that if you're looking for civilians there are nowhere near enough um contemporary civilian miniatures available um the minutes in this yet yeah, some of them are definitely horror themed but some of them would work in all sorts of contemporary civilian settings strongly recommend stopping by this a repeat creator a reliable creator extremely high-end sculpts with a really great theme and a great idea to them again strong strong recommend some really strong stl file campaigns up this week um and next up for those stl file campaigns we've got jod wanted planes of terror by 3d breed miniatures so again a reliable repeat creator that we have featured on the channel before um and this is i think a really interesting set of minis so it's um weird west um sort of so western styled but with a, a vampire hunting or vampire being uh theme to it so you've got a, a collection of sort of uh wild west themed vampire hunters and a collection of wild west themed vampires so you've got you know forces set out there that'd be perfect for a sort of a two-player starter set essentially for a weird west horror themed uh game so obviously there are some strong contenders for this one if you like something like dracula's america um anything with that kind of feel to it and there's a handful of lovely miniatures agnostic um skirmish games that are absolutely built for this or this is absolutely built for depending on which way around you see it um 
if you want any kind of uh, minis agnostic, um, you know, horror themed or horror adjacent or just fantasy sort of mixed in with your western these are a great set of minis lovely sculpts as i say from a repeat reliable creator um really really lovely finish there's also uh bits of terrain scatter terrain etc so you can build out a whole tabletop to, to theme for these guys if you're interested in getting to something like i say like dracula's america you don't necessarily have all the bits and pieces to theme out a tabletop theme out a group you're not sure sort of about getting together a couple of forces to, to sort of get somebody started on it. This is a great campaign to pick up. It's everything you need to get something like that rolling off the ground, get people playing it, get people interested in it. Strongly recommend, again, stopping by, checking this one out. It's going to be a lot of strong recommends on the STL files this week. Really high-end stuff out here. Okay, next up for our STL file campaigns, we've got Pharaoh's Legacy Undead Army STL files by crab miniatures so crab miniatures are actually not a creator i think we've featured on the channel before um but they are a repeat creator they are a reliable creator um and they've put out here a set of undead um army along with some scenery pieces for a uh, sort of egyptian themed undead so tomb kings things of that nature now um this is campaign for an army level of SDLs. Loads of options here, particularly nice um, modular pieces. So you can either physically kit bash post printing them out or do a bit of digital kit bashing uh, uh, and print them set out uh, as single pieces. Loads of options here, obviously because of the modularity. You can fill an absolute massive army with these guys um loads of options within the the minis and loads of units within the minis we've got catapults chariots uh giant scorpions cavalry heavy cavalry sort of serpent riding cavalry uh infantry heavy infantry monstrous infantry really genuinely everything you might think of when i say something like tomb kings or egyptian themed undead is available in this campaign there's a big mass battle army available with all the different options all the different units all the different choices in this campaign if you are all interested in a tomb kings egyptian themed undead army stop by this campaign pick it up there's everything you're ever going to need there for any size game from mass battle and obviously all the way down to skirmish or war bands okay last up for our standard reward sdl file campaigns we've got Battle Cries Unleashed Fury by Solgood Creations. So I featured these creators before and I've backed them myself. Um, they're doing a really great thing here. Um, they're bringing together um, STL files from all sorts of creators um, to help provide uh, support for civilian soup kitchens uh, in the Ukraine. Um, so obviously great reason to back them whatever else it is that they're putting out um but what they're putting out is extremely high-end files from all sorts of creators all sorts of bits and pieces um loads of people have turned in you know donations essentially you know the best stuff to support this campaign now sometimes that does mean that the bits and pieces can be a little bit tricky to figure out where they're going to go in this particular campaign uh, one of the sets of minis are uh, a collection of uh, miniatures agnostic sci-fi uh, combatants with two distinct forces. Um, so there's a set of sort of um, power armoured um, fighters with very much their own world, their own universe. Um, these do not look like other powered armoured sci-fi fighters you might be aware of um they have a very strong ip ip and identity of their own and there's a whole force of sort of uh, bug-like alien creatures for them to face off against so not only is this a campaign that does good and you can feel good about yourself for backing it it has genuine utility for uh tabletop uh minis war gamers so you can back it feeling happy about what you've done on both levels um those particular forces and i'd say there are loads of little bits and pieces you'll be able to pull out and dot into various games but those forces are you know really strong really strong ip uh with, with sort of everything you're going to need for 
a decent sized mass battle system up to a sort of yeah pretty large mass battle um for a minutes agnostic sci-fi gaming but check this campaign out because you should check this campaign out um, okay, that's going to be it for uh, standard model rewards. As usual, uh, we've got a pay what you want campaign. And this week's pay what you want campaign is Sci-Fi Desert Edge Outpost STL Files Pay What You Want by Caledonia Miniatures. So Caledonia Miniatures are another repeat pay what you want creator. And they have a system of putting out a pay what you want miniature on the pay what you want level and then having a set of upgrades through to usually a large sort of tabletop filling uh, set of terrain and this campaign is no different. Um, so the base level is a desert building that would work absolutely brilliantly not just as a sci-fi piece but in uh, any sort of historic uh, desert based gaming. I would say in fact that the whole collection um, while it has sort of a potential strong sci-fi feel to it for a, a desert world, a desert moon I'm sure you understand the sort of references that, that we've got here. They would work, I think, absolutely fine for all sorts of historic or fantasy settings with any sort of desert-based theming to them. Um, the buildings definitely look like they can and would exist in our world. Lovely weathering effects on them. Um, they look like they've been within the, the, the desert world or, or the desert location for some good time. Um, it, it's lovely to see buildings that look like they have a history, a, a sense of being, a sense of belonging, a sense of location. So at the very base level, I would strongly recommend stopping by and picking up the pay what you want building. It has loads of utility, loads of options, loads of settings you could use it in. I strongly recommend looking at the higher levels, considering upgrading up. If you're looking to fill out a tabletop with a desert-themed set of buildings, whether it's sci-fi or not, but, you know, if it's sci-fi, there's some extra pieces in there. Um, there's a, a walled option. Uh, there's sort of um, a, a, a bridge and a, a, a sort of set of pieces you could use in all sorts of settings. Really strongly recommend looking by this one, picking up the pay-what-you-want level and considering upgrading through. Okay, that is going to be it for this week. Loads and loads of campaigns on Kickstarter this week. Really, really, really strong week. Um, as often it is when it's that strong, I've had to really, really thin down the campaigns to just pick out some of the prime ones. If these don't happen to interest you just because they're not your theme of gaming, your style of gaming, I guarantee on Kickstarter this week there's going to be something that might catch your eye. Give it a look over, uh, run it through, loads and loads of options. Of, as usual, lots and lots of STL file campaigns that I haven't been able to fit into the video. Loads of choices, loads of options. Strongly recommend generally going by Kickstarter this week um, and giving it a look over. As usual, uh, there's going to be a chat on Saturday between myself and Mike Hutchinson and the game design chat. There'll be a hobby video coming up tomorrow and next Wednesday, as always, I'll be back with another weekly Wednesday Kickstarter roundup. Um, Please, if you back any of these campaigns, as usual, do swing by the comment section. Let me know what you backed, why, what you're interested in, what you're doing in the hobby. While you're down there, give us a like and subscribe and then swing by our Discord and tell me what it is that you're backing, what you're interested in, what you're doing in the hobby. But for now, from me and from this video, it's going to be a thank you and goodbye. So thank you and goodbye. Bye-bye.